Hi all, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica Pashkovich. I am a doTERRA wellness advocate. Um, in this video, we will talk about what essential oils are, um, classifications of essential oils, and I will show you a few examples of an oil from each classification and a little bit about each classification and also why quality matters. Okay, quality is the biggest biggest most important component of essential oil or better yet anything really in life anything you're buying you want to make sure it's quality stuff okay and when it comes to essential oils quality is huge um i do want to do a side note you will see me shifting my eyes um because i am using two sources i'm using my essential life book and also I am using this little beginner's guide to essential oils, okay? Um, I really like the simplicity of it because me, I can just go on and on and on and on and on. Um, so this is really a nice concentrated, condensed explanation of what I want to, the message I want to relate to all of you. I really hope you enjoy this video and I hope it brings you more knowledge and clarity um, if you were wondering or looking to get into some essential oils. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it really helps you. So what is an essential oil? Essential oils are the extracted volatile aromatic compounds found in leaves, flowers, bark, stems, roots, resin, seeds of plants or pith of citrus fruits and are treasured from their enhancement of beauty, flavor, and health. Um, scientifically speaking, an essential oil is comprised of hundreds of chemical constituents and combination of which provides plants with distinctive qualities and healing properties. Their function in nature is as secondary metabolites in their plant of origin, whereas the primary metabolite is essential to a plant's survival. Essential oils provide protection from predators or other threatening influences and promote healthy reproduction, contributing to attracting pollinators and other vital processes. So why and how are they extracted? So they are extracted by two methods or two processes. Uh, one process is steam distilled and the other process is cold press. Um, a process unique to citrus peel or rind oils. When skillfully carried out, the end product is a therapeutic grade essential oil that harnesses the maximum potency and health benefit. Uh, by contrast, lower grade essential oils are more often extracted through chemical processes or with solvents to increase yield and profit. So basically, if your essential oil that you are using is not to its most highest purity level, then you know that your company that you are using is not providing you with the most pure oil, okay? And basically what their, you know, main goal is to make money off of you. Um, so with doTERRA, they carry out the purest oils that I've had dealt with um, and I personally have seen the difference and experienced the difference um, comparison to say a pack of excuse me essential oils that I bought on Amazon and the doTERRA essential oils there's a huge difference and the major indicators um, or the biggest red flags are the actual scents so I would compare a lavender, doTERRA lavender, and then I would compare the lavender I bought on Amazon, and just in the scent, there was a distinct difference. Um, which that will also get into quality, why quality matters later on in this video. Um, basically, how do essential oils work? Um, to better appreciate the value of essential oils, it helps to understand how they assist their own plant to flourish in their environment. Okay, so basically, 
Let's take, for example, the Melaleuca tree. The Melaleuca tree grows or is originated in Australia, I believe. Yes, Australia. So in Australia, the weather is consistently hot and humid, right? So you have like the moisture, the bacteria, that fungal growth and stuff like that. So the Melaleuca tree grows right in the midst of all of all that. So right in that um, at, type of atmosphere. So the way Melaleuca actually survives and it has a very strong immune support is because of its antiviral, antifungal properties that the Melaleuca chemical component is. So having said that, you know, if Melaleuca has is able to protect itself with its chemical components then why can't the melaleuca chemical components help us and protect us from any environmental threats okay so that's basically how they work so to have like a mindset of how they work that's kind of a best scenario to really explain to you another unique quality of essential oils is the molecular size of their active compounds um, terrifically small on a, a molecular level uh, they easily pass through the dermal layers of the skin they're absorbed directly into the bloodstream cross the blood brain barrier and penetrate the cell membrane essentially they are accessible and transferable to the body so our body absorbs these essential oils super quick super flawlessly um, to provide what our body needs from these oils. Um, we are made or carbon-based basically as humans, as a person, okay? Uh, just like plants are carbon-based, so are we. So if something helps a plant flourish and help support it and, you know, help it bloom, so why, you know, it should be able to help us blur, bloom and flourish and, you know, protect us from, from threats, right? So this kind of goes into, you know, why should you choose oils? You know, why essential oils? Okay, the beauty of essential oils is how they empower you. Imagine being prepared to address many of your health needs at home easily and naturally. Okay, so I've been using essential oils for, this is my third year. And I've noticed a huge difference in the way I feel, the way I look, you know, my, my confidence, um, even though a lot more played in play with, you know, confidence, but essential oils um, and doTERRA actually really helped with that as well. Um, there are other factors too, but we're talking about oils here. <laughs> so... And I really experienced the difference between, you know, what pure grade essential oils are and the oils I've, I've personally bought on Amazon or Target, Walmart, and things like that. Um, so it's very, very, very important to keep that in mind. You know, I've heard stories of, you know, people using, you know, off the market essential oils and you know their kids you know either it's burning and it's not supposed to burn if it's pure you know things like that so it's really really important to make sure you're using a very good quality essential oil um, for that because you really want to experience the you know natural benefits you know of the oil um, okay so Next, we're going to get into is um, oil classifications. I'm not going to get into too much of depth, uh, but just I'll probably like, you know, just show you an example of, of each classification and things like that. So there are a few classifications. So the first one is the citrus. Um, citrus. So citruses. You know, think of citrus. Um, they are uplifting and detoxifying. So here are a few you know, citrus oils that I will just pull out here right offhand. So I have uh, lemon, grapefruit, tangerine, wild orange. Okay, these are just the ones from, you know, what I have here at home. 
um, just a few examples of citrus fruits. Okay, these are uplifting, you know, if you're feeling discouraged, gloomy, distressed, you know, you can diffuse these, you know, rub it. Like, for example, I'll take my wild orange and if I'm just do like a drop for two, if I'm feeling, you know, down, gloomy, discouraged, I'll just massage it between my hands. Take a deep breath. A few deep breaths. Kind of get it stimulated into your system you know rub it the remainder from your hands you know onto your chest you know your your neck your face you know wherever and you will feel uplifted you know nice energized you know so this is what citrus oils are the next ones are floral they're calming they're calming and harmonizing okay so a few examples of some florals are first one is clary sage okay here is clary sage then we have um geranium lavender whoops and I'll just do Ling Ling. Okay, um, these are not, you know, sh doTERRA has a whole bunch, okay? These are just the ones that I personally have at home. Okay, so floral oils, like I said, are calming and harmonizing, you know? So when you're feeling hurt, depressed, isolated, burdened, unheard, wounded, do the same, or you could diffuse these, you know, rub between your hands, and inhale them, you know, use them topically, diffuse them, things like that to help you feel, you know, purposeful, light-filled, loved, you know, reassured, things like that. Okay. Uh, the next classification are uh, spices. So let's see some that I have. Um, let's see, black pepper. I should have black pepper black pepper, um, cardamom, cassia, cassia, to be honest, I hope I am pronouncing it correctly. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. So, I'll, and there's like also clove and cinnamon and coriander. There's a bunch of these. Okay. So spices are warming and protecting. Okay, so when you're feeling repressed, self-centered, uncertain, denied, you can do the same with these, okay? Spices, I highly suggest that you dilute them with like a lotion if you're using them topically or a carrier oil because some of them, you know, they're considered, some are considered hot oils. So they may give you a sensation of like, you know, tingling or burning sensation or like a hot sensation. I don't like to use burning sensation, but like a hot sensation, hence why they're called hot oils. Um, so yes, and they're amazing. Okay. Um, next are herbs. So let's see what I have as far as herbs go. We have basil, we have marjoram. I have a Melissa. We got some oregano. I do have patchouli. I just can't, won't be able to hold them all in my hands the ones I have. You know, there's peppermint, spearmint, thyme, you know, all the herbs, basically. Herbuses. Herbuses. All right. So, herbs. So, herbs are cleansing and activating. Okay. Um, so when you're feeling stubborn, angry, you know, stalled, limited, you know, do these, diffuse these, use them topically, you know, for you to feel accepting, open-minded, invigorated, enhanced, unattached, you know, things like that. Okay. And most of these smell amazing. I mean, you know, we all have our own opinions on a sense as far as essential oils go, but they are amazing. All right, so roots, 
I have a vetiver, it's somewhere behind me. Um, so uh, roots are centering and calming. So when you're feeling disconnected, erratic, unattentive, you know, agitated, you know, use some root oils, which is like spikenard, vetiver, things like that. Also we have, we have leaves. Okay, leaves are invigorating and soothing. All right, my leaves are um, eucalyptus, um, tea tree. Um, I did have my Ravensera here somewhere. Uh, rosemary, winter green. Okay, so leaves, like I said, are invigorating and soothing. When you're feeling stubborn or, you know, unyielding, confused, hindered, degraded, you know, diffuse these, use these oils, you know, to feel accepting, you know, invigorated, enhanced, trusting, enlightened, relieved. Okay. So I'm kind of going more so like on the emotional aspect of like these oils and what can use them for. Okay, our next one is woods. So we have our bavite. We have cedar wood. We have cypress. Okay. We have Douglas fir. Do I have Douglas fir? Yes, I do. Douglas fir, juniper berry. Um, there's juniper berry, there's manuka, pedigree, sandalwood, Siberian fir. Um, I just don't have enough room in my hands to hold all of them. There we go. All right, so woods, they are grounding and renewing. So when you're feeling blocked, uninspired, overzealous, diffuse these, use these topically, um, and you will feel <coughs> devoted, collected, courageous, progressive, you know, like you're progressing in, in whatever you're doing. And last but not least, we have Risen. So we have Copaiba, Frankincense, and Myrrh. Okay. Um, frankincense and Myrrh were uh, the two of the three gifts that were um, gifted to Jesus when he was born. It was frank, myrrh, and gold that he received. All right. So these are risens. Okay. So risens are restoring and strengthening. So when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling unprotected, abandoned, disconnected, these risen oils will help, will help make you feel grounded, you know, connected, things like that. I will tell you, um, in my experience with frankincense and copaiba, is when you are feeling stressed or anxious, things like that, just take a drop, one drop of each under your tongue, and it will take away your anxious feelings. Um, these, This combination here is like the legit Xanax. So, I'd rather be addicted to frank and copaiba versus Xanax. So I have personal experience of using these for any like nervous, nervous feelings, anxious feelings when you're feeling stressed, even when you're just in a bad mood and you need to calm down, you know, Frank and Kapaiba are awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now, having said all of that, we're going to get into quality. Okay. Now. Did you know that there is really no labeling or I should say no regulations for essential oils? Okay. Um, so the most, most product labels you see out there on the market as far as essential oils, they all say 100% pure. Okay. Um, they're not regulated, so because they're not regulated, really no one's going to, you know, reprimand them for, you know, saying 100% pure essential oil when really they're, they're not, that they're adulterated oils. Most of those have 
you know, synthetic fragrance oils in them. And a synthetic fragrance oil is not a pure therapeutic grade essential oil. So they're adulterated. So it's very, very, very important to keep that in mind. Very important. Um, what are the best essential oils? Um, of course, you want to trust the brand you're using. Okay. And you want to look for a company that's committed to sourcing from expert growers in ideal environments who harvest and distill plants at precisely the right time, partnering with growers to improve production, raise standards, and ensure sustainability. Testing every batch of oil for purity and composition, both immediately after distillation and upon delivery at the production facility. And you want to ensure that the company is committed to certifying that every bottle of oil is certified pure therapeutic grade, has the correct chemical component or composition, and will deliver the desired result. Okay. Uh, you want to also invest in the best quality essential oils as part of your healthcare routines. The potency and effectiveness are worth it. Okay. So quality is essential when it comes to essential oils and using them in your daily life. So we learned that quality plays a huge role in essential oils, especially when you're incorporating it into your daily life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, um, please comment in the box below. And I will also have my website down in the um, description box below. If you have uh, also comment, if you have any questions, um, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will have a link for the Essential Life book uh, for you to buy if you want it. And also I'll have a link down below um, this little booklet for you. Okay, I really hope this was a little advantageous for you um and oh, yeah thank you for watching